This week, it's a Cinco de Mayo feast with El Pastor, delicious Cuban sandwiches, and a perfectly cooked carne asada. What'd you bring to the party? I'm gonna do some um, Al Pastor, and we're gonna do some uh, street corn, some plain corn for the kids. Got some green onions to grill up, and uh, some refried beans. And they're pretty good, if I say so myself. Sounds like a... Sounds like a good time right there. Cinco de Mayo is what it sounds like. I love El Pastor. It's my go-to uh, street taco. Um, it's fun to make. Have made it before. It's much easier to buy. You go to your local uh, you know, Hispanic market, you go back to the meat counter, and there will always be a uh, carne al pastor back there. And you ask for a couple pounds of that, and you go home, it's already marinated. We have the Blackstone here today to toss it on. Al pastor is a beautiful, beautiful meat. This we just put on there. You kind of, I like to do it a little more medium, uh, medium high. Uh, we don't want it to dry out. Uh, we just wanted to kind of render some of that fat out from the pork. That those uh, seasoning steak, it's got, you know, achiote paste. Um, it's got a lot of chili, um, pineapple. Um, it breaks it down, makes it real tender, but man, all you need is corn tortillas, al pastor meat, cilantro, maybe some pickled onions. You got the perfect taco. So, for the uh, uneducated, uninitiated, what is a Cuban sandwich? Oh, Cubans are a multitude of, of uh, sandwiches, but the way that I grew up in Central Florida was Cuban bread, fresh made daily, really good high quality mustard. I used uh, deli mustard from a local grocery store, pulled pork, uh, carnitas. Uh, really good fresh pickles, black forest ham, and Swiss cheese, and press it together with just some old-fashioned bricks wrapped in aluminum foil. It works. And we knock Matt out with him later if you don't act right. There is that too. <laughs> Leftover barbecue pork that I smoked over the weekend. Staved a little, so I'm going to reconstitute it in some mojo. Put it on the Blackstone to warm it up, to get some of those Latin flavors and start building a traditional Cuban. It's one part ghee, which has remo removed all the dairy solids into three parts olive oil. So this is just to reconstitute and bring all those flavors together. Just to warm it up, get some good crisp behind it. This is just to start building the base of the sandwich. Throw these bad boys down. Old school. Press a brick. Let them go for a little while. A few minutes. What's the purpose of the brick? Really, it's it's um really an old school way before panini presses were around. That's what uh, the abuelitas used to use when they made them uh, when, I, when I was down in Cuba. They didn't really use a press, they used just a brick. That's what they had on hand, right? Um, so I tend to lend to that because it's a lot cheaper than, you know, a big money panini press. Time for my uh, my gift to the Cinco de Mayo party. I went with 
a little carne asada. Check this out. Check this out. So, the marinade, cilantro, fresh squeezed, fresh uh, garlic, right out of the garlic press. My new garlic press. Brown sugar, juice of a lime, zest of a lime, a little bit of EVOO, and a little bit of uh, soy sauce. So, it's been marinating for like three hours or so now. Grill's piping hot. We're going right on. We're going to be uh, looking at two or three minutes aside. This thing's going to go quick. Nice thin steak. Should be delicious. So let's come on in. Cinco de Mayo, Stone Creek Eat style, three different dishes. Jeff with the Cubans, Matthew. Thought they were all tasty. They were tasty. Matt did the, uh, what was yours El called? Pastor. El Pastor. I did the carne asada. Thanks for checking out. Thanks for checking out. Like, follow, subscribe, destroy the bell. We see you next time. Matthew. Yes, sir. Favorite Mexican food? Food or restaurant? Food? Food. Your food. go to. Oh, oh, uh, shoot. Well, street tacos. Street tacos are my go to, number one go to. Um, Nihar has me on enchiladas. We actually had a text chain talking about the best enchiladas in town, and uh, it got a little uh, wacky, but I think we found some good ones around town. <laughs> so, yeah, you can't go wrong. Pretty much any of it's good. Queso, just a dip. That's right. <laughs> Jeffrey, go to favorite Mexican food? Huh, I'm traditional. Give me uh, some El Pastor, some lingua tacos with fresh homemade corn tortillas. Um, that does it for me. Some pozole. Uh, that is a Mexican uh, hominy style soup, stew. Yes, um, I would say that. A lot of traditional stuff, not a. Yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. And for me. And what's yours? <laughs> I am more of a. Uh, crunchy taco. I'm a crunchy taco, soft taco with a uh, <laughs> little meat, little cheese, little sour cream. Always a flour tortilla. Sophomore. That's right. That's right. We didn't serve tacos at Outback. Chips and salsa. We didn't serve that at Outback either. So I don't think a blooming onion counts as uh, Mexican. Right, go. Probably not. Probably not. Go. Y'all get. Now. So y'all in there. What's your favorite Mexican food in honor of Cinco de Mayo? It's like a robot. Uh -huh.